The more things change, the more they stay the same. In 1985, Nintendo launched a console with a game in which players ran from side to side, jumped on turtles, and saved a princess. Almost three decades later, they're doing the same thing. Only this console comes with a touchscreen, and this game is... fucking unbelievable. Hey, I said things stay the same, too. It's new Super Mario Brothers U! And of course, it's only fair, uh, and a little surprising to point out that this is the first Mario game Nintendo has launched with a home console since 1996, and the first of the side-scrolling variety since the Super Nintendo in 1991. That game was called Super Mario World. It's only fitting that this game would share some history with it. I mean, why not? It shares everything else. A continuous overworld? Check. Baby Yoshi? Check. Suit that lets you float? Check. Uh, Mario U is so reminiscent of Mario World, uh, and even Mario Brothers 3 to an extent, that if you grew up playing those games, uh, you'll immediately fall for this one. <laughs> Now, that's not to say this is just a cover band playing all the greatest hits. I mean, it's obvious the people designing today's Mario games adored the classic titles, as their nods to the old school are abundant, but their work on Mario U suggests they're finally interested in progressing 2D Mario design as well. But for starters, this has some of the best Mario levels in years, maybe decades, and that's not hyperbole. They get better and better as you get closer to Peach's Castle, but even the early stages benefit from really clever approaches to 2D platformer design. Now, the foundation's clearly a combination of Mario's two best side-scrollers, but from there, New Super Mario Bros. U gets genuinely creative, not to mention brutal. And while it doesn't do much with the gamepad aside from letting you play on the touchscreen, Mario U does quite a bit with the platform's built-in software. No other launch title shows as much potential for the Miiverse, allowing players to share their reactions to levels with drawings or messages, and the game even has modes for things like speedruns, which is awesome for veterans. <laughs> But, of course, the game isn't perfect, either. Now, the gameplay is unreal, the controls are sharper and more responsive than most games wish they could be, but Nintendo was obviously content with the status quo for its presentation. And Mario looks good in HD, but the art really plays it safe, and although Nintendo does dip their toe in the water in terms of teasing artistic creativity, they never actually jump in. Of course, that doesn't mean you shouldn't, once again, jump into the Mushroom Kingdom. If you're a regular visitor, plenty of new features and razor-sharp platforming awaits you. And if it's been a while, you might be surprised by what they've done with the place. A masterful combination of old and new, New Super Mario Bros. U is the Mushroom Kingdom you've always remembered. Only better. <laughs> Time.